एक्स आई थर्टीन ए बी सी डी टी हेच डायरेक्ट टू होम फॉर्म वॉन्ट्स टू कैलकुलेट मंथली रेंट फॉर इट्स कंज्यूमर्स ए कंज्यूमर कैन रजिस्टर फॉर वन बेस पैकेज राइट अ पैथन प्रोग्राम टू इंप्लीमेंट द बिलो गिवेन क्लास डाइग्राम सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टू क्लासेस द फर्स्ट वन इज गोइंग टू बी डायरेक्ट टू होम सर्विस क्लास नेम एंड सेकेंड वन इज गोइंग टू बी बेस पैकेज सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस दिस रिलेशनशिप सो वॉट वी स्टडीड बिफोर दिस इज एक्चुअली रिलेशनशिप दिस इज कॉल्ड एस डायरेक्ट टू होम सर्विस हैज ए बेस पैकेज सो वी दे कॉल इट एज अज अ रिलेशनशिप सो वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ क्लासेस इन विच वी नीड टू हैव all these members the look at the sign right all these members consumer number consumer name counter it's a static variable member so all these members should be a private and then we need to have a constructor which needs to take consumer name as a parameter then we have a getters get consumer name get consumer number both are getters then we have method called calculate monthly rent and this method needs to be abstract so this is basically is going to be an abstract class and it is also going to have an abstract method which means we cannot instantiate an abstract class and look at this derived classes base package so this has two attributes base pack name subscription period both are private attributes then within which we have a constructor init consumer name base pack name uh, subscription period three parameters we we're taking then we have a getters get base pack name get subscription period then we have got something called validate base pack name so we have another method then calculate monthly rental this these are the primary methods we need to work on so let's see how to do so let's initially create classes and methods inside that so let's focus on the first class direct to home service it is a abstract class is going to be an abstract class and it is a base base class so simple direct to home service so we know from abc if, if we are going to have an define an abstract class then you'll have to use this line from abc import abc meta then if the class is going to have an abstract method then you will use this keyword abstract method so direct to home service counter is a static variable so we need to declare a static variable like this number 1 and number 2 and uh, consumer name right and we also need to have consumer number currently let's assume so consumer name and consumer number we're taking only one parameter consumer name self is a default parameter never considered then we have a getter for consumer number and consumer name we know how to deal with this you have discussed about this well in advance well, well ahead well before when you are talking about abstract methods <clears throat> get a private data members getters and encapsulation that time we are uh, we are talking about getters and setters so we have a calculate monthly rent is an abstract method so we are done with this let's look at the business rule so say in the direct to home service it's a first base class only two business rules one is initialize static variable counter to 101 then inside the constructor we need to auto generate consumer number starting from 101 so what happens when the first time an object is invoking this value will be 101 then counter value needs to be incremented to 102 when the second time invoking the id should become 102 then third time 103 like that it has to go on so basically static variable needs to be accessed with class name so direct to home service dot counter but he since is a private we have to use double underscores So increment also after that counter is equal to counter plus one. So counter plus is equal to one is nothing but counter is equal to counter plus one. So initialize static variable counter to one zero one. Yes, one part is done. Then inside constructor auto generate consumer number starting from one zero one. So initially we are assigning that counter value to consumer number. Then we are incrementing automatically. So we are done with the direct to home service base class. So now look at base package. So it has base pack name, subscription period. Then a constructor it has. So we understand both base pack name and subscription period needs to be automatically initialized here. 
So this one will be assigned here, essentialized here. Then we have simple two getters. We will do up to this now. So look at this placeback name, subscription period. These are the two attributes. But if you look at the constructor, consumer name, placeback name, they are taking three parameters. So consumer name, why they have taken consumer name? Consumer name is actually part of base class here. So what we need to do within this constructor, we will have to call super class constructor and pass consumer name value. So that is what we are going to do now. Direct to home service from it's a base class from which we are deriving this class base package. So we are taking consumer name, base pack name, subscription period. Now what we are doing? <clears throat> we are assigning this base pack name to this attribute base pack name, subscription period to attribute subscription period. You know both are different. This is comes without underscore. This is actually a local variable, subscription period base pack name. But the one which comes with double underscore is a private member of this class. So instead of this variable, if you uh, in fact, you can have any name also, but just to give you correct meaning, they have given base pack name clearly. Instead of this, if you if you think it is a bit confusing, you can have base base pack name. You can take b p name like that. You can have any base only base also you can have any variable value you can have. What are you mentioned here? That needs to be mentioned there. But you know why we have to use exactly the same because. Here they were very clearly given. You'll have to use the name base pack name subscription period. So if you use something else, many test cases will not pass. So this is different from this. Please remember this. When you double click on this, this is automatically getting highlighted. Why? Both are same. But when you double click on this, it is not showing anywhere. Why? Because there's a private attribute of this class base package. Then we are calling out to call out the parent class constructor in it of we are passing consumer name using super keyword. So this course automatically comes here. Consumer name is passed and it is assigned here. So we need to connect and think like that. Well, okay. So then what else is remaining? Validate base pack name, calculate monthly rent. Only these two things are remaining. Calculate monthly rent is an abstract method. That method, any one method which is being mentioned as abstract in the parent class that needs to be overridden in the child class. If you don't do that, then it creates a problem. You won't be able to create object for the subclass that is a derived class. So let's look at the business rules. Paste back package class. So first of operation is validate package name. What they say? Validate package name. Valid uses are silver, gold and platinum. If invalid, if it is not going to be silver, gold or platinum, if the if the, when you pass the place pack name, if it is not silver, gold or platinum, then you have to set the base pack name attribute to silver and display the message base package name is incorrect set to silver. We have, we have set it to silver like that. You'll have to mention. So that's quite simple. We check if base pack name silver base pack name. This is a private attribute. Look at this. It is highlighted a silver or gold or platinum if any one of the uh, base package name is going to be there then we say it's valid otherwise what we do we love to set the base pack name to basic level silver then we say base package name is incorrect so that was set to silver then we are returning true <clears throat> then what we need to do we love to check if the subscription period is between 1 and 24 months both are inclusive if so this is the first check we need to do. If so, we'll have to validate base pack name. Okay, number one. That is the first step. So first thing what we're doing, we're checking subscription period one between one and 24. Both are inclusive. Then we are checking if base pack name is true. If this function is returning true, then we are going to process. What are we going to process? Well, we are going to validate the base pack name. After validation, what we are going to do, we will have to identify monthly rent based on the place pack. So based on this table, if it is silver per month, it is 350. If it is gold 440, if it is a platinum, it is 560. So we'll have to take this, refer this table. Now they say consumers are eligible for a discount of one month's rent if subscription period is more than 12 months. Number one, 
you'll have to calculate final monthly rent as per the formula given below. Monthly rent into subscription period minus discount amount. Discount amount is nothing but one month subscription will be a discount amount. We'll have to calculate discount amount. If it is greater than 12, we'll have to calculate discount amount. Then overall, divide by subscription period. Then we'll have to return the calculated monthly rent. If this is not true, if it is not between 1 and 24, we are going to return minus 1. Perform case sensitive string comparison. Create objects of base class, base package class. Invoke calculate monthly rent on a base pack object. Display the result. That is also we are going to we can do. This is to help you understand how this works. Okay. The code is ready now. So we need to check how many months usually. If subscription period is greater than 12, right? Then if the base pack is silver discount we are going to set the discount amount 350 why one month if it is greater than 12 we are going to give one month discount monthly rent is 350 if it is gold discount for 440 why one month rent is 440 again monthly rent is also 440 platinum 560 monthly rent is also 50 if it is not greater than 12 months then what we do we simply set the monthly rent alone discount should be set as zero why we need to use this formula final of monthly rent they have given it here just to follow that final monthly rent is equal to monthly rent into subscription period minus discount amount divided by subscription period <coughs> so monthly rent into subscription period that needs to be accessed with an object then then divide by this is multiplied then divide by subscription period i mean here you have a discount then finally the whole divided by subscription period then you are returning final monthly rent so if you do up to this you'll have to execute then verify if you do up to this all the test cases will be passed but what else you need to do is <coughs> they have told us create objects for base pack class so to create object for the base pack class how to create let's see base pack class it has a constructor okay consumer name base pack name subscription period three parameters you need to pass so we're going to create constructor now object for constructor constructor base class <coughs> let's say object one is equal to base package of you'll have to pass parameters what are they name let's say a tree then what is the second parameter base pack name <coughs> third parameter subscription period so base pack name let's say simple value will set let's say silver so we know it's a 350 then monthly rent let's say only two months for example two months mean 350 350 it should be 700 that is simple then what else we need to do then invoke calculate monthly rent so object one dot calculate monthly rent so it will calculate and return so what you'll do you'll finally you will store it let's say result then what you'll do you'll print result alone you can print every value there but still let's print result alone <coughs> So it is 350 it is giving. So actually it is two months. You take two months subscription. So it actually it should be if it is two months, it has to give us 700 monthly rent 350 into subscription period 2 minus discount is actually 0 divided by subscription period 2 this is a formula they have given the whole divided by 700 divided by subscription period 2 we actually get 350 oh okay i think this is the formula they want us to process 
so if it is two months it will get if it is four months it will get it will give us 700 i believe one second we'll try that we'll try it out with the four months come as missed for four months also okay oh this has this is returning only the monthly rent monthly rent so we know it's a 4350 if you change the package perfect it is not giving us a total total amount it is giving us monthly rent only look at this gold 440 platinum 560 in fact you can try printing out <clears throat> name of the customer <clears throat> Um, subscription package name <clears throat> all that you can get that is also possible using object you can do that okay then finally submit it that's about it I'll share the code in the description you can also refer it my otherwise you can refer the code in my github profile 